Hey guys, my name is Kaylee, and I'm going to be teaching you what to do when you break your foot. You can always eat. Eating doesn't stop when your foot breaks. I don't think e eating would even stop if your mouth broke. You'd just like take it through a tube or something. I don't know. Eating always continues, so I'm just going to... Ooh, a lemon. Kidding, I don't eat lemon, but you know, I eat a lot of things. So another way I've been passing the time is by doing yoga. Is this now our dog? So yeah, like I said, yoga is a super cool way to get your exercise in, to get your flexibility going, and you only need one foot for a lot of the exercises. So guys, something else that you can do when your foot is broken, and hear me out, I know this sounds weird, is learn to draw with your good foot. And that's just something that I've been working on and learning to do, and I'm just going to demonstrate that process right now. Beautiful. I wrote my name. So something else that you can do when your foot is broken is play with your dogs because why not? Hi doggies! Hi! 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 Aren't they cute? They're so cute. Here comes another! <gasps> There's a third! Hi Rainy! Sit! Good sit! Ooh, good catch! Mm. This is Bernie. He's very cute. Something else that I found myself doing quite a bit now that my foot is broken is ordering Postmates. So that may not be an actual change from when my foot was not broken to now, but it's like a great excuse. Something else that's really fun that you can do when your foot is broken is learn how to play an instrument that you haven't learned how to play before. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. Kaylee, what the hell is this contraption that you're holding? I honestly don't know. I don't know what this thing is called. I don't really know anything about it. But it was in my closet. There's no reason why you can't do certain dance moves when your foot is broken. There's quite a few that only require one foot. See that there's so many dances that just don't require, that only require one foot. So guys, even though you can't actually drive, you can sit in your car and cry about the fact that you can't drive. <laughs> or you can just like pretend, like mime out driving, like close your eyes and be like, oh yeah, I'm just on the 405 right now. Oh fuck, someone just cut me off. I'm just kidding, I would never do that in real life. I'm a very nervous driver. I love driving, but I'm like a very nervous driver. Anyways. In fact, it's like even better than real driving, because in real driving, you'd be in traffic, but like in pretend driving, you're just, oh wow, 101, no traffic at all. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I'm Kaylee, and uh, I hope you enjoyed all these tips and tricks on what to do when you break your foot. Even if you don't have a broken foot, I hope you were entertained. And, um, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Like and subscribe and I don't even know. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, something else that you can do when your foot is broken is break your other foot. Obviously. Just kidding.